Hello and welcome to another Scan It Saturday. This week I just wanted to show you a very simple tool in Canvas Workspace, which is the divide function. This is going to now enable us to use um, the tool to create some unique card fronts. So I'm going to start this project by dragging on um, a couple of basic shapes. I think over the series of these Scan It Saturdays, you've seen how useful these basic shapes can be. I'm also going to go hunting for a sentiment in my line embossing um, selection. And this I can obviously use with, with my drawing tool to um, draw out the sentiment. I think I'll just go for this one. A nice bit of gratitude goes a long way. I'm duplicating my rectangle by pressing the D key on my keypad, opening up the properties dialog box, turning off the maintain aspect ratio and then typing in the measurements that I'm using in millimeters and this is going to make an A6 card front, that's A6 UK size. Right. First step done. Just going to zoom into that particular rectangle. Now I'm going to use my offset tool. And again, I'm being quite precise with my measurements here. I'm going to go for a two millimeter inward facing offset. And I'm going to bevel the edges so they're nice and sharp. So that's my first layer done. And now select the inside layer and repeat that process. This time though, I'm going to set the offset to six millimeters and this will become evident why later on. Everything else stays the same. So there we go, that's that. Now I'm going to drag in the other basic shape and this is kind of the, the centerpiece that's going to form our um, unique shapes layer. So this can be any of the basic shapes that you fancy. Just using the alignment tools there to um, bring them all central. And then I'm going to select my scallop shape. Actually, hang on. I think what I'm going to do is give these some color and make sure they're in the right order so that I make uh, so that I select the right layers. So that one's in front of everything else. I want to send send it to the back. And I'll do the same for the next layer. Send that one to the back. And then I'll give the next one some color as well. Mm, now, I think I'm gonna drag these off anyway. So, if I close all this down, and just drag the two larger layers off. Excuse me, boys. And now we're gonna use that divide function. So what this is gonna do is punch that um, scalloped shape through the rectangle and leave all the bits there so that I could use them if I wanted. But I'm actually just selecting them all and deleting them so that I'm just left with these two parts. Looks like a half eaten sandwich. Now I'm gonna go back and use the offset tool again. This time I'm choosing a three millimeter border, going outwards, deleting the original shape and having a rounded edge, a rounded corner. So you can see that softens it off and it prevents those problems you may experience with um, sharp corners, snagging your cardstock or snapping your blade. So I've now got those two shapes together, which are perfect. I'm gonna group them and I'll give that a bit of color as well. I'll make sure that it's uh, in the front so that when I bring these other shapes on, <clears throat> it'll be on top. Use my alignment tools again. And there we go, you can see that's already forming a nice unique sh uh, shaped card front. Now I used my scalloped circle without actually duplicating it like a silly billy, so all I need to do is go back to my basic shapes palette and select that shape again. So that's going to sit over the middle, but obviously at the moment it's too big. 
I don't want to resize it because that may change the proportions. Plus, I want to round off those sharp points. So I'm going to offset that by six millimeters inwards, delete the original shape, and round off those corners. And there we go. So that fits snugly and perfectly right in the middle of that cutout. If I highlight it in white, you'll probably see a bit better. Soften it down with some pink. Almost there. Um, I'm going to drag on my sentiment now, though. I'll make sure that's in front as well, because obviously things have happened since I loaded that onto the mat. And oops, Control Z to undo. I'll drag that into the middle and resize it just so that it fits nicely in the middle of that scallop. Always much easier just to use the shortcuts for alignment than trying to just judge it by eye. Um, looks okay. I just think one more thing I can do just to finish this off. And again, it's back to the offset tool. I'll set that down to three millimeters going inwards, leaving the original shape this time and rounding off. And then we have a little inside border. And I will take out the fill and change the line style to a dashed line. Now, something you didn't see me do here is set that to a drawing line as well as that sentiment. And that's something you would need to do before you downloaded it. However, once you do and you've cut all the layers and drawn all your shapes, this is something that you could end up with like this. I think it's a really lovely style of card and it gives lots of creativity for those basic shapes. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching. It's always a pleasure to have your company. If you've enjoyed this video and got something from it, please don't forget to give it a like. Leave any comments you have in the bottom below the video. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Scan and Cut Canvas, Scan and Cut uh, Machines, Canvas Workspace, and many other arts and crafts techniques. There's also a playlist for all of these different things, which I'll leave on screen here for you to um, pick and choose through. Thanks for watching. Bye.